Jason o Moira, sino nga ba ang pa-victim sa kanilang dalawa? Due to insistent chismosa demand, isasummarize ko ang Jason and Moira issue. Nakakatawa ang buong song, especially yung part na naghihintay pa rin hanggang ngayon. Sa ikaw Kasi parang sa buong year, never ka naman nag-effort sa ate ko. Why do you need to manipulate people into thinking that you still love and miss her? Like, what the How can you be so sure? You didn't see paano ako lumuhod at umiyak, so she would take me back. You didn't see kung paano siya nagbasag ng baso to shut me up. Bakit nyo basa ni si si Jason? Eh hindi lang naman siya yung may kasalanan. Ang ginawa niya lang ay nag-ispak. Bakit? Kasi hindi siya mapagbigyan ni Moira. At isa pa, bago sila maghiwalay, meron nang nahanap si Moira. Taong tatawag sa kanya na binibini. Yo, what's up? This is Real Talk Darbs, ang pambansang good Samaritas ng Pilipinas wherein I'm trying to influence you how to think critically about sa mga recent issues ngayon dito sa Pilipinas. And today, we're gonna be talking about another viral issue patungkol sa dalawang tao na minsay pinahanga tayo sa kanilang pagmamahalan na ngayon ay sabay-sabay na naman tayong pinapahirapan. Let's now talk about Jason and Moira's recent issue. Gaano nga ba kahirap ang humingi ng tawad? Isang tao nga lang ba ang may kasalanan sa bawat hiwalayan? Kailangan pa ba nilang umabot sa ganito? And of course, what are the things that we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Let's find out! First, let me give you a brief context. Chismosa ka kasi alam ko, busy ka pero gusto mong makichika. Sa mga hindi nakakilala, si Jason Marvin Hernandez is a singer-songwriter and Moira de la Torres, husband. And there are no reports of the annulment that has been released. That's why I'm gonna still address them as husband and wife. Moira, on the other hand, is a singer-songwriter who gained popularity because of her relatable hugot songs. Lalo na ang kantang malaya. Kinasal sila noong January 2019. However, last year, these couples have parted ways because of Jason becoming unfaithful during their marriage. Now, let's go back to the issue. Last Wednesday, May 24, Jason posted his new music video entitled, Ikaw pa rin. Ngayon ay meron ng halos 4.8 million views. So, bakit nga ba binash ng tao si Jason because of this video? Basically, the video is about Moira at kung gaano pa rin niya iniintay ito up until today. In the first few part of the video, you can see Jason with another girl na palaging nakatalikod. Parang yung picture ng my day nyo. Palaging nakatalikod ka lang. The lyrics spoke volume on how this girl saved him nung dumating daw siya sa buhay ni Jason. However, kahit nandyan yung bagong girl, hinahanap-hanap niya pa rin ang presensya ni Moira. Nabanggit din sa lyrics na kahit lumipas na ang mga taon at buwan, si Moira pa rin daw naman hanggang ngayon. Bukod dito, sinabi din sa lyrics that he can't let go of their past even if sinusubukan niya namang kalimutan ito. Furthermore, sa dulong parte ng video, unti-unting makikita ang paisa-isang clips sa kanilang kasal ni Moira. Sabi pa sa last line ng lyrics, Sa ikaw at ako well, for everyone's info, Ikaw at Ako is one of their songs together. It is a song about their love story, and it is a song wherein they exchange their vows as husband and wife. In a song that is reminding us na darating din yung para sa atin. And in perfect time and in God's will. Dito din mapapanood yung clips na in-include ni Jason. Now, sa music video ni Jason, iba ang take ng mga netizens dahil marami ang nag-ha-react dito. Meron din nag-share ng kanika nilang sentiment. Gaya na lamang ni Darren Cox. The design is very marketing strategy. Sabi naman ni Remy Mimi Victoria, galing ng promotion. Sabi naman ni Senora Santibanez, music video mo yan eh. Siyempre, siya pa rin. Sa mga hindi nakakalam, before the launching of this actual video, ay may mga indirect at mysterious posting si Jason with a girl, which everybody assumed as his new partner. Well, kahit kayo ay eh, napaniwala, Bill, dapat magkakakunik pala ang lahat ng yun. Diba? Mga chismosa kayo, ginudge nyo agad siya. 
Next, eh, maliban sa hinaing ng mga netizens, pinagbigay din ng kanyang take sa video ang sister ni Moira na si Jamie. Sabi niya rito sa kanyang tweet, Nakakatawa ang buong song, especially yung part na naghihintay pa rin hanggang ngayon sa ikaw at ako. Kasi parang sa buong year, never ka naman nag-effort sa ate ko. Never ka din nag-effort sa family namin before. Nainit na lang ako kasi ang layo talaga ng mga pinagsasabi mo sa lyrics. Why do you need to manipulate people into thinking that you still love and miss her? Like, what the f***? For the cloud chasing amp, you're getting too desperate and it's kind of funny, lol. Nagat namang sinagot ni Jason at ang sabi niya, Sorry Jamie, I didn't wanna do this. I was caught off guard when you posted your tweets because one, I showed you this song so I don't get why you're surprised with the lyric. Number two, I visited May, August, October, and December to give gifts for Christmas. But when your mom expressed that Moy didn't want me hanging out with you guys, that's why I stopped visiting. Third, buong year di nag-effort sa ate ko. How can you be so sure? You didn't see paano ako lumuhod at umiyak so she would take me back. You didn't see kung paano siya nagbasag ng baso to shut me up. You know how I would wait outside the condo sa driveway para matimingan ko lang siyang kausapin. I've been good to you, your family. And I'm sorry if you were fed false, exaggerated details, but I gave my all to try to get her back. Hindi pa doon nagtapos ang lahat because on May 28, songwriter Lolito Go voiced out revelations about the breakup and more. Sa mga hindi nakakakilala, Lolito Go is the composer behind the hit song, Titibo Tibo. And unfortunately, was once a friend to Moira. Tinabi niya sa post that he had a few more song collaboration with Moira, which he claimed that he was not even paid a single money for the songs he wrote. In an instance where he was not included on the Spotify credits, until he chose to tap her to put it rightly. Sinabi din ni Lolito na there is something strange about Moira, and that her lying happened many times. At dahil doon, it led him blocking the most streamed Filipino artist on Facebook and Messenger. Going on the controversial separation, he surprisingly revealed that it is not right to throw all shades at Jason dahil bago pa ito magkasala, gusto na daw makipaghiwalay ni Moira dahil meron na itong someone new. In his Facebook post, yes, nagkasala siya. Pero walang third party on Jason's side. He never fell in love with anyone else. His only sin is that he listened to the call of flesh and availed an illicit massage service because Moira could not fulfill his sexual needs. And even before Jason confessed to his sin, Moira already wanted out. Dahil nakahanap na rin siya ng pamalit. Someone who will dance in the rain with her and call her Binibini. Ooh. After pointing out that Jason is not the one to blame, he still wishes for the couple to reunite and take another shot at one another. Dahil sa strong sentiment na ito, Moira's camp defended her. In a Facebook post ng Vice President ng Cornerstone Entertainment Inc. na si Jeff Badillo, ay pinagtanggol nito si Moira. Jeff strongly denied ang paratang ni Lolito, particularly sa magkatuwang na isinulat daw na kanta. Sabi pa ni Jeff, Stop invalidating the work of a hardworking woman. She does not deserve this. Siyempre palaban ang Lolito. With all due respect, sir, di ko po sinabi sa open letter ko na better songwriter ako. At hindi ko po dinidiscredit si Moira. I actually mentioned na exceptionally gifted songwriter. Dagdag ko pa one way or another, will make it up to the top. Pangalawang nilinaw ni Lolito ang akusasyon niya tungkol sa ghostwriting. Tanungin nyo na lang po si Moira kung totoong she asked for my services at kung totoong nagpresyo siya. Kasunod namang sinagot ni Lolito ang issue tungkol sa collab nila Moira and Jason. I only said that Jason wrote most of Moira's hits to drive home the point na he is equally talented at hindi niya kailangan makiride at, at makigamit ng talent. Sa issue naman po ng hindi pagbibigay ng proper credit, in one particular instance, my name was not included in the credit for a Spotify song na I wrote 95% of the lyrics. Pakitanong na rin siya patungkol 
sa bagay na yan. Now, mainit-init pa. On May 30, 2023, around 10 a.m., Moira already broke her silence, stating her frustration dahil kailangan pa niyang i-prove ang worth niya as a songwriter and artist. She also said that she never employed a ghostwriter. She's also ready in case kailangan pa maglapaga ng screenshots. She also strongly said that she did not cheat on Jason. She believes that it is unfair na ipaliwanag pa niya kung bakit hindi niya deserve ang mga nangyayari. Now, on the same day around 2 p.m., nagpost naman si Lolito Go ulit sa kanyang Facebook page with a screenshot photo but hindi makita ang picture dahil nakablock na siya. Based on Lolito's post, hindi pa siya tapos sa issue na ito. So what are the three things we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Number one, mas mahirap magsisi kesa maghintay. Punta muna tayo sa issue ng mag-asawa. Hindi natin pinag-uusapan ang kasalanan ni Jason. Kasi halata naman na he's really desperate to win his wife back. Wala nang point na pinagdidikdikan pa natin yung kasalanan na hiningi niya na ng tawad kay Moira. After all, marriage is not a competition. So it's not about winning or losing. I wanted to point out those who are in the same shoe of Jason. Babae ka man o lalaki. Kung ikaw man ang nagkaroon ng kasalanan and you wanted to fix your relationship, all you can do is do your part and wait. Wait patiently and lovingly. Hindi madaling maibalik ang tiwala. Lunukan talaga ng pride yan. Sa nangyari kay Moira at Jason, parang naging competition sa buong mundo kung sino ang totoong biktima o hindi. But Jason already admitted that he was the one who became unfaithful. Moira, on the other hand, admitted that their marriage wasn't perfect as well. But at the end of the day, sa kabila ng sasabihin ng iba, nasa iyo pa rin ang magiging desisyon. Number two, never meddle with the affairs of married people. One thing I've learned from my parents, huwag makikialam sa problema ng mag-asawa, lalo na kung hindi mo pa alam ang buhay may asawa. All you can do is to listen. Once you give opinions, hindi mo na mamalayan, nasusulsulan mo na pala sila. At yun ang nakakalungkot. When we try to defend one, someone will try to defend the other. At doon na magkakaroon ng clash. Instead na napag-ayos pa ang dalawa, mas lalong nagkagulo. Imagine how sad that is. Hindi nyo ba nakikita na kahit sa maliit na paraan, pinili pa rin ang dalawang ito na protektahan ng isa't isa? Now, you might not agree with me since both of them are coping on their own way. Pero walang nagpapakabiktima sa kanila. Walang nagpakita na kung sino ang mas nasaktan o mas nakamove on. Both of them are just trying to heal. I just hope people would let them be. Kasi kahit anong gawin nyo, sila ang mas nakakakilala sa isa't isa. Remember, walang makakasolve ng problema ng mag-asawa kundi silang mag-asawa din. Our job as friends and family is to guide and support. Number three, pointing out someone else's flaws to make others look good is like trying to clean their reflection in a broken mirror. Sa totoo lang, wala naman talagang perfectong relasyon. Hindi ibig sabihin na kung si Jason ang nagkamali, eh perfect na si Moira. At tanggap naman nila yon. Why people had to point out their flaws just to make a point. Do you know what it does? It temporarily boosts ego. But it does nothing to improve the real image they project. Also, a real friend holds the gun but will never pull the trigger. But see how pain blinds people. Friendship breakups are real. Hindi lahat talaga ng tao sa buhay natin are meant to stay. Even kaibigan. What happened with Lolito and Moira is one example of it. We can't assume that someone was staying for selfish reasons during those moments that they are friends. Kasi baka naman during those times, it was genuine. However, nangyari talaga yon na na-outgrow natin ang isa't isa. That is why I don't see the point of pointing out someone else's flaw to make themselves look good. It's like trying to clean their own reflection in a broken mirror. Real talk. I know I really love when I see one. Hindi dahil sa magaling ako or marami akong karanasan. But because when I look at these two people, they made me feel hopeful for love. Nung nagsisimula sila, they inspired me to keep my standards and wait until I find the one. When they announced their breakup, sa totoo lang, nalungkot ako pero hindi ako namawalan ng pag-asa. Nadarating ang panahon na maayos nila to. See, that's how powerful their love is. That despite the bad things that happened, I can still see the good from these people. Moira and Jason were once best friends before they become 
boyfriend and girlfriend. Then eventually, husband and wife. Kung mayroon mang mas nakakakilala sa kanila, silang dalawa iyon. Now, what happened between the two of them can't be just blamed sa isang tao lang. Because for what it's worth, both of them are accountable to each other. Nakakalungkot lang na kailangan pang umabot sa ganito. May dalawang side ng story. But contrary to what others believe, I still hope for their marriage to be saved. <sighs> Kasal na kasi ang pinag-uusapan dito. And I believe both of them understand how important and sacred marriage is. Mind you, these two people was once in love with each other. And maybe they still do. Kasi kung hindi, bakit parang may konti pa rin sakit? I just hope that we won't be the reason why two people can't forgive. I hope that we can be part of the solution rather than be the reason of the problem. Remember that love is not about how many chances you give, but how many chances you are willing to take. Everybody makes mistakes Because no one can be perfect 